Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about oncoplastic surgery for treatment of breast cancer. Oncoplastic surgery is really plastic surgery done at the time your surgery, your tumor is resected, but it's a particular type of plastic surgery. We've talked before, and we'll put links to the other videos below on different types of breast reconstruction. This is plastic surgery, and there are really two types of oncoplastic surgery. One is for people who've had a lumpectomy, where the tumor and a rim of normal tissue are removed to try to remove all of that cancer. For some people, that leaves a very large defect or, or hole in the um, breast or depending on where the tumor is located, if it's high up in the chest over here, it could leave quite a dent or a dimple or um, it's just a nicer word for defect. It's a surgical defect. Normally, at the time of surgery, the defect is not filled in with a typical lumpectomy and it fills up with fluid which your body will eventually absorb. What if you don't want to have that divot or dent we can actually take tissue from other parts of the breast and relocate it to that area. That's called type 1 oncoplastic surgery, and it's very commonly done by a general breast surgeon who's done specialty training in oncoplastic surgery. It's not done by general surgeons unless they've had additional training. Now there's much more involved oncoplastic surgery that's not directed at the tumor, but is directed at making your surgical outcome more favorable. So this would include having breast reduction, either of the breast itself without losing the whole breast in a mastectomy, or surgery on the opposite breast to give you a more symmetric appearance. There's some women who proceed to have the whole breast removed because they're very large breasted, and that's not necessary. You can have breast reduction done on both the involved side and the other side. This is type two oncoplastic surgery. It's more involved, and this will be done with a general breast surgeon whose job it is to remove all of the tumor and a normal rim around the tumor, and maybe even surgery on your axilla or the armpit and a plastic surgeon. This gives you the best result. Plastic surgeons are trained to work with people who've had cancer, but they don't, they're not directly removing the tumor itself. Their job is to help you have a satisfactory cosmetic outcome. You're gonna be living a long time after your breast cancer surgery, and to be happy with the appearance of your breast is really important to us. So I've covered a lot of different things. Type one is where we try to fill in the dent or, or divot from removal of the primary tumor. Type two is to give you a symmetric appearance or give you a breast reduction. You might wonder, is surgery, this type of surgery paid for by insurance? And it is. Uh, there was a law passed that symmetric procedures done to achieve symmetry need to be covered by your insurance. Pre-authorization will be done by your surgical team, but in general, with rare exceptions, this will be covered by your um, insurance because it's related to your having had breast cancer. I hope this has been helpful to you. Put any questions in the chat, we'll get back to you. If it has been helpful, click like and subscribe. What that does is it helps other people and their family members, friends, find these videos, which, you know, just spreads the word. And if you want to learn more about your treatment options and your cancer, visit yerba.com.